Hey, Physics Boss Man back with you. A bullet traveling horizontally at 350 meters per second hits a board perpendicular to the surface, passes through it, and emerges on the other side at 210 meters per second. If the board is 4 centimeters thick, how long does the bullet take to pass through it? That's how you can do physics, physics. A boss as you are created. You are created in God's image. To be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue. Okay, to interpret the problem, we want to draw a good picture. And so this represents our board with the four centimeters uh, thickness. We've got the incoming bullet. Bullet goes through it. And so uh, V initial. The incoming bullet is 350 meters per second. The God has crowned you, you, you with glory and honor. Honor to rule, rule over his creation. 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 All right, so a sequence of steps we're going to convert to SI units. Always a good first step if you, if you don't if everything's not given in SI units. Compute the average velocity as a second step and then we're going to use the average velocity and the delta x to find t final, the amount of time it took to go through. Okay, so now to evaluate. Science is a gift from God. To help us master nature. But sin added thorns and thistles. Requiring the sweat of your brow to succeed. Go ahead and compute x final is equal to 0 0.04 meters because to convert centimeters to meters you just divide by 100 and then the average velocity is equal to v initial plus v final over 2 so that's uh, 350 meters per second plus 210 meters per second over 2 uh, so that's uh, 560 meters per second divided by 2 ba, ba, ba. Uh, 280 meters per second. And now the average velocity is also equal to the change in position over the change in time. So to solve for the change in time, uh, multiply both sides by delta t. Delta t times the average is delta x. One more step. Change in time is equal to delta x over the average. So this is uh, the 0 0.04 meters uh, divided by the 280. Learning physics often requires prayer as we submit to Jesus Christ as risen, as risen King of Kings and Lord of Lords meters per second. And so uh, leave it to your calculator to do the, that ca calculation. And so that's 0 0.00014 Three. And let's think about the units. We have meters divided by meters per second. But dividing by a fraction is like multiplying by the reciprocal. So it's like meters times seconds over meters. The meters cancels out, so the units is seconds, as indeed we expect it to be. We reign by surrender. We reign by surrendering to Jesus and praying for our daily bread, which includes success, success in our schoolwork. God will answer and lighten our yoke and the impact of the thorns and thistles in our labor. All right, so now to assess, uh, we'll check the sign. 
Uh, sign of the time ends up to be positive as we expected it to be. The units turns out to be seconds as we accept, expect it to be. And then what about the magnitude? And my strategy here to get a ballpark on the magnitude is, is simply the following. Suppose the bullet didn't slow down at all. That would be an easy problem, right? So if we find the time, if the bullet didn't slow down at all, that should be just a, a little bit faster than the time that we actually obtained as our answer. So we're going to suppose that the bullet didn't slow down at all, in which case the speed the whole way through would have been 350 meters per second. And then the time, had the bullet not slowed down at all, uh, would have been the same uh, delta x, uh, but then over the, the 350, so that would have been 0 0.04 meters divided by 350 meters per second. So when you punch that into your calculator, you get 0 0.00011 seconds. So we ended up with 0.143 seconds, uh, you know, after the three zeros. And so it would have been 0 0.00011. So as we expected, our time with the slowing down is a smidge longer than our time we obtain if, uh, if we assume that it didn't slow down at all. So that makes our magnitude assessment also check out in lines with our expectations. So let's pray because the physics problems keep getting harder and harder. And like God promised in Genesis 3, uh, the thorns and thistles would add uh, the sweat of our brow. So let's pray for the Lord's help. Lord God, we pray you'd help us to be willing to put in the sweat of our brow as we earn our daily bread uh, through work in our physics and our other academic and other responsibilities in life. Lord God, you say in your scripture that Christ's yoke is easy and his burden is light. So as we look to the Lord Jesus, we pray that you would lighten the yoke of physics and help us to do it. Sharpen our minds, sharpen our skills, help us to work hard, we pray, and help us to understand, we pray. Even as it says in James, if any one of you lacks wisdom, uh, we should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault. Lord God, we, we lack wisdom in physics, and we pray that you would give us wisdom in physics generously. We pray in Jesus' name. Jesus, la 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 la.